that looks terrible. Oh my god, this is so bad! I think I'm having a aneurysm. Oh, wait, we're not talking about it. Oh my god. Oh god, that's so not straight! Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Today, I'm going to be doing my very first challenge video. And Lord, it's going to be the shit show. So, I may have mentioned this a few thousand times, but I am an artist. My main focus in art is drawing and painting. I mainly focus in oil paints, but that's not what we're going to be doing today. Today, we are going to be putting my basic drawing skills to the test. Lord have mercy. And like most people who are not the spawn of the devil, I am right-handed. That is how I do my art. That is how I've always done my art. I have never been ambidextrous in any way. That is usually how I write. I use my left hand for certain things. I played softball for six years, so traditionally I am better at catching with my left hand. I'm also a lot better at typing with my left hand. I know that sounds sort of strange because most people type with both hands at the same time, but I've noticed if I'm eating something, I usually continue typing with just the left since more words can be typed with the left hand and the right. And then of course I use my left hand for other things, you know, flipping the page of a book. Anyway, but today I'm going to be using this left hand to draw pictures, and that is something I have tried to do before. It has not gone well for me. I've also tried to write with my toes before. Don't ask. That, that could be a different video if you wanted it to, but I'm pretty sure you don't. No one wants to see those puppies. They are not cute. They are very smelly. Mostly for me, you wouldn't be smelling anything because you're behind a screen, but trust me. So this is called the Opposite Hand Drawing Challenge, and there's probably a few of these on YouTube already by other bigger YouTubers, but I decided to play it up a little bit and today we are going to be drawing pop punk album covers. Classic pop punk album covers that have spanned from early decades like the 80s through today. I can only anticipate this is going extremely well. I'm not being facetious at all. This is definitely going to be the best video that I've ever made ever and probably will ever make. So without further ado, let's get started. I've got a drawing pad here, which I have set up with my phone to film my hand with. You guys will be seeing my face as I'm filming. I also have my laptop set up so I have a reference. So basically how this is going to work is that there's gonna be five levels, basically levels one through five. Each level will get harder as I go higher. The first album that I'm going to be starting with is Milo Goes to College by The Descendants. A lot of people consider this one of the first pop punk albums to ever exist. It's iconic, it's got that iconic cover with the guy with glasses on the cover. Very simple, it's a black and white drawing. I think this should be relatively easy for me to draw, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so the first step is to uncap the Sharpie and put it in my left hand. This feels so wrong. Okay, so we're gonna start with the hair. So the hair, I believe, has 11 strokes, so we're gonna count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that looks not particularly straight to me, but that's all right. So then we try to draw the glasses. It's basically just two rectangles. Okay, that wasn't too bad. All right, let's move on. So we got the little arch here, and then we've got the other rectangle. This isn't going too badly. Okay, so there is hope. One of the glasses is significantly larger than the other one, but it's okay. You know, nobody's perfect. So then we got the little pupils. I feel like this part's gonna be harder because it's not a line. Okay, little pupil there, and we've got little nose dots, and we got the actual head. Oh God, please don't be crooked. Uh, the other one. Oh my god, please be even. Okay, not terrible. Then you've got the little mouth going across. And then this is the difficult part, the tie. So you gotta be real careful with this. So we're just gonna draw a little apex. And then we're gonna bring that around town. Bring it around town. This is the most difficult. I want to use my right hand so badly right now, guys. It's only level one. This is not gonna go well for me. I'm gonna put it behind my back. I don't trust myself. And then finally, you've got the shoulders. So there we go. And it looks like he's got a little bit of a signature on his shoulder, but I don't have the patience for that. So I'm just gonna put an X. Okay, so that is the first drawing done. Let's see how it turned out. So this is how the drawing turned out. I honestly don't think it's that bad for level one. I mean, it's gonna get way worse from here, but I think this is a pretty good starting point. So I think I got most of the basic details down. You can see why this is level one, but uh, I think I'm ready to move on. I feel confident. I feel ready to go. Let's do this. I have a BFA. I can do this. Okay, so now we are turning to a fresh new page. And the second album that I have chosen, level two, is American Idiot by Green Day. This one came out in 2004. It's a little more on the challenging side. It's still 
very graphic, so I feel like I'll not have too hard of a time with this, but it is a little more challenging, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so I have the album cover out here. We're gonna once again uncap the Sharpie and put it in the left hand, and here we go. So I'm starting off with this arm just because I feel like that's the safest bet. Okay, it's okay if it's a little wobbly because it looks like the arm is too. This finger is gonna be messed up. Oh my lord. And we're bringing that downwards, and he's got like a little thing in his knuckle there, or like his wrist. I don't know, anatomy. I went to art school. <laughs> that looks terrible. Okay, then we gotta draw the fingers. So fingers are kind of like, it looks like they're hexagons. They're not really like any particular shape. Oh god, that one looks like a coffin. I wish I was in a coffin right now. I'm just not even gonna try to make the fingers look nice at this point. I'm kind of just throwing my rag to the wind or whatever the saying is. I don't know lingo either. This is, a link, this is an English lesson apparently also. English lesson apparently also. I think I'm having an aneurysm. Okay, so now comes the fun part. We're moving on to the heart. So the heart is a lot of geometry going on in there and this is not gonna look pretty at all. So we are drawing little heart figures now. <laughs> I definitely drew this too big because it's going over the fingers. This is not good. Okay, we're doing a little bit more of these little square things. I'm trying to make it look like a heart, but in reality, it's probably just gonna look like a mess. Okay, and we're almost at the bottom here. You can do this. Come on, Faith. You had so much confidence going in and now it's all dwindling. And that looks like crap, so. <laughs> then we gotta draw the little like pin at the top. So I'm just putting that in real quick. Ah, don't move the pen. And then we got the little screw in there. Oh my God, this looks so bad. I added a part by accident. That is not a perfect circle. Okay, and then we actually have to draw the title. So <laughs> I'm just gonna try to write it as neatly as possible. So here we go. Green Bay Packers. Green. Oh God, that's so not straight. Day. And then American Idiot in all lowercase. Why would they change the typeface like that suddenly? That makes things so much harder. Keep everything in caps. This is definitely gonna be so wrong. Oh my God. This is like what I would expect a five-year-old's drawing of this album to look like. Oh my God. Okay, so that's the end of that one. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what this one looks like. Uh, it's definitely not perfect. So as you can see, I cut off part of the grenade over there. The title of the album is all wonky. The fingers kind of look like Fritos, like how Fritos are shaped, if, if Fritos were really messed up. But uh, yeah, it did slightly less good on this one. So moving forward, I have a lot of confidence that this is gonna be a masterpiece. Okay, so now we're moving on to album number three. Album number three is Something to Write Home About by The Get Up Kids. It came out in 1999, classic album. I've chosen this one because like the American Idiot one, it is fairly simple, but still very detailed for what it is. I think it's gonna be hard for me to translate that into my left hand, but let's just pray for the best. So here we go. Okay, so we are starting off with the two robots leaning on each other. I'm gonna start with the big robot first. I'm assuming that's the boy robot, but gender is a social construct. Should probably look where I'm drawing while I'm looking into the camera, but you know. Okay, so then I have to draw this little weird eye thing he's got going on. I didn't even connect the head to this, so this is already going great so far. And I have to draw like this little thing around it. Ah! Okay, and then I've got another eye. Oh my god, these just look like carrots. Okay, drawing another eye. Eh. And you got his triangle nose in there. Brick mouth. Oh my god, his mouth looks so derpy! I have to fill it in too! Ah! And then he's wearing these headphones and this is gonna be really difficult for me to draw, but I'm gonna do my damnedest. He's got a little thing on top and then we have the body. So the body looks like this, kind of looks like a pillow or something. Then you got like the cutoff. This little, I'm gonna draw that in now. I should have started with that, but I wasn't thinking. So then we draw his side and then we draw the side of his head. This honestly is not terrible. I thought it was gonna be harder than the American Idiot one, but I think I misjudged a little bit. And then you got the female one. So the female robot is like this. You got the same head, similar. Her, the only difference is her eyes are a little different. Okay, and then you got like these little circle things. How many circles is that? That's like 400 circles. And I'm just gonna like casually color those in like that. Add a little bit of accent to that eye. That was not, that was not a perfect circle. <laughs> I will say the more I'm doing this, the more I'm getting used to having something in my left hand. And I never thought I would say this. So maybe there's hope for me. Who knows? Not after that line there wasn't. That was terrible. Okay, and then we're connecting that to that. And we're adding a little head knob. I think she's got like a discus on her head. So I'm going to draw that in as well. This looks so bad. She looks like a mismorphed Teletubby. So many circles in this one. Why is this so circular? I feel like left hands weren't meant to draw circles. And then she's got another little cash register mouth. That one was even worse than the last one. How is that possible? Okay, so that I think is the closest I'm going to get. I'm gonna stop there. So this is the finished product. Uh, not particularly great. I'm gonna say that just right off the bat. You can see the detail in the eyes is um, 
not accurate to what is depicted on the actual cover. I did my best. I think this one was slightly easier than the last one though. So I think I might have to reevaluate the next time I draw with my left hand, which is gonna be never. All right, so we are moving on to a new page. Album number four is going to be the cover for Brand New Eyes by Paramore. This album came out in 2009. I know it's not their most iconic record ever. That would definitely go to Riot, but this one does have a lot of ornate details in it and is definitely recognizable for someone who listens to the genre. So that's gonna be level four. So here we go. It's basically a butterfly, right? I mean, like how hard can this be, right? Right? So we have to start out by drawing a butterfly wings so this is gonna be interesting find a bunch of butterfly flippies try to get the shape right this bottom shape is whack okay so <laughs> that just looks like a little appendix it doesn't even look like anything it's supposed to be like a little like droopy down bit of the wing but i just made it look like an appendix don't look good i need to remove that okay, and then we're bringing that up and then i somehow made it too short i don't know how i did that oh no that looks like squidward's profile but if Squidward had like a really round faced cousin. So then there's like three little dots in the center. One, two, three. None, not a single one of those circles is the exact as the other. So that's pretty sure. So then we're gonna draw the other wing. The other wing comes up like this. I'm just gonna try to do this quickly because I know it's terrible and I just wanna get through this. Oh my God. As quickly as possible. Oh my God. <laughs> Those don't even look like wings. They look like vomit that was spat up and, and was traced on my sketchbook like, like a dead body. Making these little black accents on the sides. Accents in there, they're yellow, but since I don't have colors, I have to improvise. Lines, kind of like a tiger. Like that, and like that. I am an artiste. Ooh, art school, I'm feeling you so badly right now. Art is suffering, everyone. I will say that. The one thing I did learn in art school is that art is pretty much entirely a lie, so don't even... Don't even bother. We're just moving that down there. This one's longer than the other one, which is weird. And for some of these, and some of these. I have to fill this in now? That's gonna take forever. Okay. Oh my god, filling in things left-handed is significantly harder than filling things in the right-handed. Who, who made up this challenge? I'd like to talk to them and, and have a word because this is, this is, oh, I've been doing, my arm is starting to hurt. Uh, how do you guys have the stamina for this? This is like not even remotely filled in, but I'm doing my best, okay? Oh, I went outside the lines. Done. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, so this is what we got. Um, I'd like to think this is very like abstract. As you can see, the scribble lines adds a lot more texture to the piece. That's the one thing I learned how to do in art school is bullshit at art to the extreme. So I, I'd give myself an A plus for bullshitting right now. The detail in the wings, honestly, the symmetry of it all, like it's just iconic. This, honestly, I think this should have been their album cover, not the one that they came out with. That one was just, <sighs> I want to stay a little lazy. This took effort, so at least there's that. So the last album that I'm going to do is the hardest one, which is why I've saved it for last. You may know this album. It's very, very famous. I'm going to be doing Enema of the State by Blink-182. This album came out in 1999. Everyone knows what it looks like. It's the nurse with the gloves. It's going like this. She's got the butterfly tattoos. She's dressed very risque. But essentially I say this for last because it's the most realistic, so it's going to be the hardest to draw. So. I'm really hanging on a prayer here, so let's just kind of roll with it and hope for the best. Okay, so I'm going to start with the hat. The hat is up here. We're going to be going up with that. I'm just kind of going to make up the top because I don't really know what it looks like. I'm just going to draw across just because I'm running out of patience. And then we have to do this hair, which is going to take forever. So we're going to do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Go up there a little bit. Give her some bangs. Get up there. This looks so bad already, and I haven't even finished. I mean, I knew it was going to be bad because it's a Sharpie drawing, but I didn't think it'd be like... That's bad. Where's her face gonna go? I'm guessing the face is like right here-ish. I don't know. I definitely made the hair way too long. Where are her boobs gonna go? She's got like an ear over here. Okay, so we gotta draw this ear. So it's like, uh, looks like a monkey's ear. Oh my god, this is so bad! We're moving on to the shoulder now. I don't even know where the shoulder starts. It's, the neck like ends over here and then the shoulder goes. And now we have to do the face. Oh god. All right, we're gonna start with the eyebrows. So... The key to a good face is a good eyebrow, and that one looks like shit, so this is off to a great start. And then we've got the other eye. Oh my god, they're not even even. One of them's like sagging. Literally sagging. I'm gonna try to give her lashes. Okay. This belongs in the MoMA, obviously. Like that. <laughs> oh god. Alright, and then you got like another lip down here. And then we left like no room for her chin, but we're just gonna roll with it. And that's... I think the best we're gonna do, so let's hold it up. Here we go. Here's the finished product. It's basically an exact replica. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think it looks 
This this belongs in the Guggenheim, honestly, in my opinion. I think this is a work of art. Better than the Mona Lisa. Da Vinci could never. I mean, just everything about it. She kind of looks like an ogre, you know? Like there's there's so many things wrong with this that I I can't even I can't even look at it anymore. So I'm just gonna put it down and forget it ever happened. Anyway, guys, so that's the end of that video. As you can see, I did a terrible job. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this at home. It's gonna be just nothing but frustration for you, so. Just keep that in mind if you ever decide to do it. If you did like this video, make sure you subscribe below, hitting the little bell icon to get the first notification of when my videos go up. You can also give this video a like and a comment below. You can give me some suggestions of what you'd like me to try next. I'm gonna go out and forget that this ever happened, and I will see you guys next time with another Makeover Monday. See you guys later.